attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. Please proceed to the stairways and exit the building. Hey guys, it's your boy Black Lighting Forty Five Forty Seven. I present to you another unboxing video. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, here are the other two notification appliances. If you tuned into the last unboxing video uh, where I went over the Amsco FS1-1W, uh, these are similar. Similar, however, they're a little bit more uncommon and unique than that uh, FS1-1. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox. Uh, cut the box open and see what's in it. So we're presented with lots of uh, popcorn. So there's two boxes in here. You can probably already see what they are. So we'll set those aside. And then nothing else is in the box, just a bunch of foam and stuff. So let's we'll get that out the way. Let's get these centered and bring you a little bit closer. So, I can see features 12 or 24 volts DC, high sound output, low profile, low, low current, intensive light output. FSL1-1 electronic sounder with adapter plate. FS1-1 with SL-02. The SL-02 is the strobe and the FS1-1 is the sounder, uh, like I said. Um, so, there's all the various different models. Um, you got your 12 and 24 volt DC models and also uh, ones in red and white. Uh, looks like they're all fire alarm. Uh, hence the F and yeah and so let's look on the front of the box and yeah that's what it looks like is a like I said electronic sounder with adapter plate a polarized single tunnel flush mount with strobe so um, right off the bat you can see that this one does not offer a surface uh, or semi flush mounting option looks like your only option is a uh, flush mount um technically speaking uh once again it's from amsco is ul list it is audible signal appliance for fire alarm service um and yeah so and then also like i said once again it's manufactured in japan so let's pull the cover open and see what's under it Oh, this one actually has the whole package. So what just fell out was the fire labels for the strobe. Now these aren't the ones that the FS1-1W was supposed to come with. It's actually more square um, in the fire lettering was horizontal. But this one is, um, like I said, for the strobe. And then obviously right here we got our screws and stuff like that so without further ado let's take out well let's actually move that down a little bit let's take out the actual sounder strobe and let's take a look so as you can see this is what it looks like so like i said if you look under it is it's the same sounder um, that I unboxed the other day just in red. However, you got your uh, frosted glazed uh, strobe on the front. Was like I said, this in this configuration with the strobe, it actually makes it a little bit more uh, uncommon and uh, more on the rare side. Um, but yeah, so I mean, there's your side profiles and. Uh, yeah, this is what it looks like from the front. 
And if you look on the bottom here, SL-2002, torn for volts DC, pulls 30 milliamps. And is there a candela on that? Looks like there's not a candela on that. So, as far as how bright it is, I am not sure. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it has a candela on printed anywhere on the strobe. But obviously, like I said, this is UL listed, and also for the um, uh, visual signal appliance for the for fire alarm service once again. And like I said, so and then yeah, there's that, and then you have. You are four uh, mounting holes to mount on a double gang 4x4 four four back box. Um, I forgot to mention the material of the sounder um, is obviously plastic. So, um, is it flimsy or does it feel cheap? Um, not necessarily. I mean, it feels relatively sturdy. The plate is... Uh, has a tad bit of thickness to it. I mean, not too much, obviously, but I mean, um, but yeah, there's that. And obviously, here's the back of the device. This this is not new at all. This is the same as uh, the FS1-1W. And so, like I said, this is the same electronic cylinder, FS1-1, 12 volts is, uh, 15 milliamps at 24 volts is a 30 volt uh, 30 milliamps at 12 volts is 79 minimum decibels and at 24 is 85 minimum decibels um, like I said you all listed obviously and then obviously it's to a wire the whole device even though it does have a strobe this whole device is a two wire device um, so I mean now you can't really do audible silence with this device, which is it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, and then just going over that's pretty much it for the device itself. We can actually go over the documentation that we now have for this device. Oh, what this is not for. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I don't even know why this is in here because it's talking about RW series duct smoke detector. Um, I don't know why that's in here. But I mean, th this is what it came with. Yeah, this is, it says air products and controls. Mm, I don't know, they must've got the paperwork messed up. Oh, wait, her, he, wait. Oh, here it is. Here, here's the actual documentation for the device. Hopefully, here it is. Is it upside down? No, it's not. All right, and also I'm just gonna move the other one out the way. I'm not gonna be unboxing the other one because it's exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter. Um, let me get you a little bit closer. Oops, to that. So obviously voltage rating, uh, current rating, sound output, light output, and all that stuff. Oh, okay. Here's the light output. It looks like it's only whoa. It's not even a candela. That's wild. Let me let me look at it real quick. Let me get a better look at it. Um. Yeah, it is 0.73 candelas, which is that's that's and that's just a little bit brighter than the WS strobe on the ESDO ones and such. So it, it's this strobe is definitely not ADA compliant. 
that's for a fact and obviously it's not synchronizable so that's out the window but um yeah and then you know even gets your operating temperature range from uh negative four to four one hundred one hundred and forty degrees Fahrenheit which is that that's pretty hot so yeah this can survive some heat for sure so but uh yeah and then down here it just gives you uh different angles of the strobe um what what view viewing angle of the strobe is the best and things like that obviously a1 which is the very front is going to give you the best view of the strobe and then down here obviously are your dimensions um obviously for the strobe the sounder and then the adapter plate then down here you have your uh what it uh what the package includes so it has uh eight by i uh, 832 screws and uh which is obviously the size of the screw and then you know fire lettering decals and then all of that stuff um and then on the back side this is how you mount the device onto a uh, back box um like i said for the strobe um oh okay it looks like you can do the surface mount with the strobe uh, as you can see right here, but um, obviously by di by default is uh, comes in uh, the flush mount configuration. So, but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And like I said, this is uh, you know how to wire it and stuff like that. Um, the back view. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. You know, that's the installation instructions and your um and uh your manual and stuff for the device. So yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. So yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed. You can't even see it. Let me raise the where's the Oh there it is. There you go. Or I could have just backed it up. I don't know what I was doing. Um. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Um. Like I said, I'll give you just a little peek of the other one. Might as well, since I got two of them. Boom. There's the other one. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through it. Um. Guess it's the same exact thing. But yeah, those are my new FSL FSL ones dash one Rs. Um, by Amsico. So, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. It's been your boy, Black Lightning 4547. And I'm out this piece. Take care and have a good one.